Patricia. I'm head of product management here at CyberGhost. We have today together with us Robert, our CEO. Hello. Uh, and Timo, our head of development. Timo. Hello. Okay. We will start uh, today by uh, talking a bit about CyberGhost five new features and what's gotten better. A lot of things, a lot of security new features, and afterwards we will have a demo of the product itself um, that we will be led by Timo. And at the end, you will receive a link with 20 free licenses for CyberGhost 12 months. And the first 20 of you that benefit and buy these products will get it completely free. And if you have any questions, just post them on, on our YouTube channel. We will answer them uh, at the end of the presentation. OK, so if you want to start, Robert, the floor is yours. Thank you, Julia. Yes, um, first of all, hello to all of you out there from our CyberGhost headquarter here in the vibrant heart of, of Bucharest in Romania, where Julia and uh, me are, are sitting. Um, our uh, CTO Timo is uh, right now in uh, Germany, in good old Germany, uh, in Übach Palenberg. That's uh, somewhere in the in the north of the of the country. Very happy to um, have you all here today for the launch of CyberGhost 5. And I want to um, be as short as possible because I am always able just to talk about uh, one aspect of our product and that's why we are doing what we are doing here uh, and my team is way better informed and, and uh, able to tell you how and uh, what we do here. Um, so first of all we launch CyberGhost 5 today because we believe that privacy is an important thing at all and it is a very important thing in the internet. I strongly believe and we all believe in here that if you have a lack of privacy online you will change your behavior. The whole internet wouldn't be what it is now without having privacy and what we see in the last months is that there is a huge attack on one of our basic human rights and that is privacy and um, it's pretty easy if you want to protect your privacy at home you have to close your door and if you want to protect your privacy online you have to use a VPN and to encrypt your conversations there and uh, what we are always trying is to build a great VPN product so what we did is with CyberGhost 5 a whole code rewrite and we did a lot of things you can't see when you have a look on the new in features and if you have a look on the new interface but we improved the speed of our VPN dramatically so um, and that was not changing hardware or, or, or plugging new computers online it was uh, coding and really thanks to Timo and his, his, his team um, they did a really good job because we improved uh, our speed dramatically that has to do with load balancing and a lot of other things but you don't see that, that if you see the new product and we improved Another layer that is very important, that is the security level. Um, we improved our encryption from 128-bit uh, to 256-bit uh, 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 IS without that it had a negative impact on, on uh, the speed. So um, I think we, 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 we've taken a huge step in being a, a more mature VPN provider than we've been before with CyberWars 4. We, we nearly doubled our growth rate. We serve now more users. We, we produce more traffic. We handle more traffic. We route more traffic than, than before. Um, so in the last two months, it was a huge growth for us. And I think with CyberGhost 5, we are taking really the next step in being a, a, a mass market, mass uh, 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 media product. and. Um, I'm very proud that we are launching this product uh, today and if you have any questions uh, uh, to me or, or to the team afterwards, um, we're here to, to answer it and uh, can't wait to see the, the presentation of the, of the new features and uh, our new CyberGhost. So back to, back to Julia. Thank you. 
Okay, so we can start now with the actual demo of the product. Timo, if you're ready, I will start sharing your screen. Everything okay, okay. there? Yeah? Okay, let's do this. Yeah, hello and welcome. Um, Robert already talked about, about stuff which we changed in the background, so uh, I will now try to give you an overview about uh, the visual changes and uh, changes uh, for the features we introduced with Fiberglass 5. Um, there were two main aspects we were trying to focus on. Uh, one of the aspects was improving speed and security, but also um, to improve uh, the speed, how to get into the service, how to install the Cyberghost 5 client, and uh, um, how to actually log in and establish a connection. So if you already know Cyberghost 4, you know that it uh, took some time to finish the installation. I would like to show you how, how it's with Cyberghost 5 now. After you uh, agree to your terms and conditions, it takes only a few seconds until the drivers get installed. And there it is, Cyberghost 5 starts. Currently my um, system is in, uh, in German language, I will switch to English language. Okay. Yeah, and what you what you see and what you might recognize as a freezer is there's no need to create an account anymore. So it's much faster for you to get into the service to get protected. No more need to cho choose a username and password. Here on this laptop, I'm already logged in as a premium user because I would like to show you um, some of the premium uh, features we introduced. Um, one of the main aspects here is that we try to make everything much easier, much faster. So um, the most uh, important uh, control here in this interface is the power button. One single click on this button and it turns on your VPN connection. You have the option of choosing countries or let server goes to automatically decide which country, which server uh, is the best and fastest server for you. We did a lot of investigation regarding our law financing algorithm. Uh, we take into account your location and a lot of more stuff. But also if you would like to choose your country yourself, it's very easy now because you can just uh, search, for example, for a server in USA here. Or oh, I will try to choose a server in, uh, sorry, Germany. <laughs> it's the English client in Germany. And then I, I let Sabagos choose a, a server or IP address automatically. Or in my case here, I'm uh, able to choose from a whole bunch of IP addresses. And with Sabagos 5, you have complete control. Because now you see how many users are actually connected on a server. And so it's up to you to decide, do I feel secure uh, <coughs> on a server with seven users online, or do I feel more secure on a server with 51 users connected? But keep in mind, the more users on a server, uh, you, you will have performance issues if you are on a server which is highly populated. So you should find a compromise for yourself. Yeah, but well, at uh, the same time, I think a um, server that has more users means more security because that yeah, it's your decision. How you we don't uh, we do not want to give you any more advice. Um, at which number of total users you feel secure. It's your decision that you say, OK, if I share the IP address with 40 people, I feel anonymous enough. So that is why we decided to publish these numbers. OK. I will choose now our server, let's say here, airport, whatever. <coughs> yeah, that's it. These settings are stored in your client. You don't need to select uh, your country and server every time you launch server goes. So Finally, you just hit the connect button, and you will recognize um, if Julia switches to my desktop. I think currently I see Robert. <laughs> um, there will be a short interruption uh, in my internet connection, uh, because that is of a new feature we introduced with uh, Cyberghost 5. Uh, Cyberghost 5 uses a firewall technique, which forces all running internet connections um, to be dropped. That makes sure that the existing connections are not running outside of the established VPN tunnel, but are forced to go into the tunnel. So no more need for you to make sure to reopen your 
browser or whatever uh, software you use to make sure it's going through the tunnel. Um, I was talking about uh, um, improvements about how you get fast into the servers, but we also implemented a lot of additional uh, layers of security. Um, let us have a look at one of our um, of these uh, websites here. Um, that is uh, what is my browser.com, which gives you not only an overview about the IP address. Okay, let's see how it looks like if I reload the page now. And we are currently connected with um, Airport. Uh, don't wonder about the speed. It's not the speed of the server, but our internet connection here in Germany is uh, very limited. And uh, because of the Hangout stream, uh, I will have some performance issues by showing you some websites. Yeah, and you see, yeah, there is a, a strange message because your web browser could not be detected anymore, and even your operating system is not being tracked anymore. And you see the IP address has changed. What does this mean? Uh, the IP address is not the only information about you which can give, uh, um, which which uh, affects your privacy, but also information about your browser um, and um, operating system, and that is what we call a fingerprint. It's uh, like a digital fingerprint, which makes it possible uh, by combining a lot of different information to identify you. And with Subagos 5, you have the option of enabling the anti-fingerprinting function, which filters out those informations right out of uh, the HTTP stream. Um, but that's not the only thing we uh, implemented. We have a content blocker. Um, you, you might um, recognize the Facebook like buttons everywhere on every single page today. The problem with these Facebook like buttons is that even that if you are not currently having your Facebook page open, Facebook is able to track which websites you have opened, which websites you visited. But with Ghost 5, you see this here is such a like button, and a lot of pages also use the Facebook comment function. But now let's reload the page with Ghost 5 enabled. Yeah, and you see it's not there anymore. Ghost has blocked connection to Facebook. You see this uh, in some kind of error message here. You see that this comment box could not be loaded because it was blocked by Salvados. So these are very new and I think very unique features. Um, I don't know about any VPN system which uh, implements such features. And for the more advanced users, um, you have the option of hitting the advanced settings here. So if you until now wondered where the exceptions are going to be, they are here. And people who already use this function uh, Remember that for using <coughs> an email in Sabagos, you had to manually put your IP address of your mail provider into this list of exceptions. Uh, but we implemented a new feature which also detects your email settings and imports all necessary IP addresses because for new users, we could not allow sending uh, emails through Sabagos, and this would result in a lot of misuse through spammers, uh, which would result in our servers and IPs being blocked. So for using email while being connected to Starghost, just add these exceptions here or let it automatically add by Starghost. Uh, another security feature, which is very important also, is um, what, what we internally call is the DNS leak protection. Advanced users know that um, on Windows systems, there is an issue um, that even that Starghost configured your system to use our name servers. Uh, in some scenarios, it's able that um, also DNS queries are done by your provider's name server, uh, which would result in my case that also a German DNS server would be used. And so a website could track that you are from Germany, actually, because it is able to track what kind of name server you're using. With Sabagos 5, we introduced a feature which forces the Windows system to use our DNS servers. So it protects your, uh, it protects um, you from this DNS leak. Um, we did not only work on the client. We uh, also did a lot of changes in our um, account management backend, and uh, I would like to show you later. Let's or no, let's do it all right now. You are able to right now directly log in from the client into the website without needing to log in again. 
And you see, we made everything much simpler, much cleaner. And uh, yeah, you see now here the My Devices section. And um, we already introduced the new, new plans, like Premium and Premium Plus. And uh, the Premium Plus plan now contains access to up to five devices. So you are allowed to share your account or use it on five devices simultaneously. Uh, currently, I have only one active device, which is my laptop right now here. And you might wonder, OK, well, why is it important? Because um, right now, Subagos is just supported for Windows. Yeah, c can I ask you a question, Timo? Uh, a lot of users right now on YouTube are asking us about uh, iOS devices and Mac, and what and when can we support this? Um, yeah, what should I say? Yeah, guys, we 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 have we have already have an <laughs> app in maybe, our. Uh, maybe it's easier just to show you. It's done. The iOS app is finished. Finally, it's done. And we, we needed to improve a lot of, uh, for our DNS and load balancing system. It's in review. We are waiting for Apple to, to uh, approve it. Yeah. To approve it. I, I think it should not last more than a few days until uh, Apple will uh, approve it. And then it's online. And the best thing for you guys is it's free. All premium and premium plus users can use the app for free. Just log in with your Cyberghost username and password. This is the German version. Of course, it's also in English. And that's it. And then you would be able to select like you're used to, select the country. And with simple click, it establishes a VPN connection. And that's it. Uh, Driton is asking right now, uh, is Cyberghost coming to Mac soon? To Mac? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's nice because I wanted to show you all these things here right now. Um, I'm on a Windows PC, so it's hard for me to show you a Mac app, but maybe some screenshot will give you an overview about what we are currently working on. And as you can see, also the Mac app is already done. Um, it's pretty much the same. Let me compare this. It's pretty much the same interface which you have on the Windows version. So everything is the same. But isn't that disappointing for Mac users if it's not looking better than the Windows? I don't know. I think the Windows <laughs> version is already looking perfect, so <laughs> no more need for improvement. But you can see here, of course, uh, the, the settings or uh, panes are pretty much like Mac OS and so. But we we want to have um, the, the usability being the same on every device as much as possible. Of course, for a uh, mobile device, uh, you don't have the space to create such a pretty user interface of the world map and all this stuff. But we, we are trying to make it as uh, simple as possible for every user interface. Um, we are currently in the process of preparing the open beta for macOS. Uh, but we decided to first launch uh, Ghost for uh, Windows. And they give our best to, to make this new service, which Robert al uh, already talked about, is a complete rewrite. Not only the user interface, it's the user interface is maybe just 20% or 10%, but we created a, a complete new backend, which should create a mu much better speed and much better load balancing behavior for you. So I would really recommend you guys to, uh, to choose the automatics feature here. Because uh, usually it, it will really detect a good uh, this uh, message here, by the way, is if you are already connected, you are now able to change your server while you are connected. In Sabagos 4, you needed to manually disconnect and reconnect. But if I now choose a different country here, it asks me if, if it should change uh, the country. But I, I will not do it right now. Yeah, just to mention, if anybody is interested in uh, beta testing the Mac version, we will have online um, subscription form. Just join there, and you'll be among the first to see the, the application uh, in action. Um, we also have a question about Linux. Apparently, we have also Linux users. Uh, Pavel. Yeah, Linux. Uh, let's go back to the account management. I was talking about the My Devices. and. Uh, there is a new um, section, smartphones, tablets, and other devices. Uh, if you, are, you decide not to install the iOS application, you can either let your iOS or Android device um, 
con being configured here by the website. But for Linux users, for example, we have the other devices section where we cover uh, a general instruction how to set up uh, Sava Ghost and other devices. Um, so you can, for example, for Linux, you can choose to use OpenVPN, which is a recommended protocol for Linux. Um, you choose the country and your operating system, Linux. And then you're able to download a simple file. It's an open VPN configuration file. It contains everything you need. It contains the certificates you need, contains the configuration. And you should be able to import this file uh, on any open VPN uh, client on Linux, Windows, everywhere. Anything else? Uh, yes, uh, somebody is asking us if um, is better to use Tor for anonymity or uh, CyberGhost VPN. I, I think uh, it, it's all about uh, what, what you expect from a VPN service. Um, uh, first of all, Tor is only anonymizing your browser sessions because Tor basically consists of a plugin for your browser, uh, whereas CyberGhost anonymizes all your internet traffic. If it's Skype, your messenger, your torrent downloader, your browser, everything is routed through our VPN device. So not only the browser traffic. I think that's the main advantage of uh, of <coughs> VPN. Second is um, if you ever compare the speed between the Tor um, node and uh, our servers, you will see and feel the difference. Uh, try to stream uh, HD video through Tor and tell me if it's working. I never was able to do it. Although I like Tor, I would make clear that Tor is an, is an awesome technique. It's, it's great what the guys did there. But I think it focuses more on a different kind of user group. OK, uh, James uh, asks us if uh, the new CyberGhost 5 auto, -reconnect, uh, uh, auto reconnects if it's disconnected from a server. Yes, of course, this is an important feature. But also, this feature is totally rewritten. Um, in the past, you remember that um, Sabagos disconnected you by disabling your um, network cards, etc., and then uh, um, showed you a message, and after you confirmed the message, it reconnected you. The problem is that it was with Sabagos 4 that in the short period of the reconnection, even if it took only 30 seconds for you to reconnect to the server, you was, were not protected. That was not possible until that time because of the VPN channel was broken and it needed to be re-established. With Subagost 5 and using this new firewall technique, which I talked about earlier, we prevent every internet traffic and make sure that there is no application having internet access until the new VPN connection is being established. So you will never lose your anonymity, even not for a few seconds. This feature is uh, supported with uh, Windows Vista and App. For Windows XP, we are using the old technique of disabling your uh, network card because Windows XP lacks the require, required system APIs to support these firewall features. Yeah. Uh, Pavel is asking us if uh, we plan to integrate an application filter inside the VPN. An application filter? Yeah. This is technically not possible. That is not possible, not that we know of, because how, how this uh, VPN system is working in your PC. Um, Subagost creates um, entries in a so-called routing table. A routing table is a table which tells every packet where to go. And this routing table is not being able to be set up for a single application. It's always global for the whole operating system. So we, we are trying to figure out if there is any trick, any workaround, because th that would be a nice feature. But until today, <coughs> we are not aware of any possibility to integrate this feature. But it would be great. So we are working on it or trying to figure out. We're open to suggestions. Um, somebody is asking us uh, where our, are our server based, uh, in what countries? I think I can answer that. We, we have 20 countries uh, in which we have uh, over 200 servers, uh, most of them USA and Germany. But we're opening basically every week a new uh, data, a new server. Uh, we acquire new server for our service. 
So we plan to open in Australia and other countries. So if you have any suggestions, we're opening open to them. Just install the client. It's free. You don't need an account. Open uh, the server of you, and you will see all servers which are available in our service. Not all available for free, but you get an overview about the supported countries. Let, let me add something to the to the questions after <clears throat> Linux and, 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 and also Tor, uh, because what we are doing right now is a pretty interesting thing. Uh, we are launching CyberGhost 5 after a complete code rewrite based on an own API. That means what we are building right now is not only indeed a, a VPN product, we are building the technical platform for running VPN technology. Um, that's what we will do in the next month after we launched for all devices and for all platforms. So what we have on our roadmap is to launch the iOS app. You, you, you saw it's, it's already um, at Apple, so we will ship as soon as possible. You saw already the, the Macintosh version. We are working on an Android version too. And um, we will open then our API for uh, the, the community so everybody will be able to integrate our, our server park, our whole server park, with a few lines of code into his own application. So I think that's a good answer also for, for Pavel asking for the, for the Linux community. And I think the Linux community will be able to, to develop around that uh, amazing tools to access uh, CyberGhost VPN. And um, regarding Tor and, and CyberGhost, it's, it's a completely different approach of, of the two products. Um, Tor is building a peer-to-peer -peer VPN network that is spreaded and distributed by, by, by people. And um, there was somebody commenting on YouTube right now that Tor is uh, super secure because of different layers of, 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 of uh, encryptions and stuff like that. That's basically not true. Um, the single point of failure in every VPN product is always the, the, the exit node. So, uh, the, the, the point where you, where you exit unencrypted to the internet. And to be honest, people, nobody knows who runs these thousands of exit nodes at Tor. So at the end of the day, it's also a matter of, of trust in the, the technical platform behind it. And uh, we are running all our exit nodes and servers by ourselves. We are working hard on compliance and internal regulations and rules to keep, keep uh, the, the level of security um, very high. And um, that's what we do. And what we do right now is that we want to provide you people a usable VPN product, a VPN product that you can easily install in a few seconds, access to a VPN server, in, in, uh, in a few clicks or with just one click, so make a very complicated and unusable technology very useful and easy to access. And that's a, a different approach because we strongly, strongly, strongly believe that in a couple of months, in a couple of years, a certain amount of the internet traffic, maybe 50, 60 or 70 percent, will be encrypted because people want to protect their privacy. And we want to build the technical platform that makes it easy to do that. And that's a different, different approach. I hope that answers some of your, your questions. Yeah, OK. So um, I think that's about it. Um, Driton is happy about our Austria, Aust Australia plans. <laughs> um, if you guys want to add something more, Timo, did you, did you go over all the features of the, the product? Are you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, we have a new question here. Uh, how is the authentication handled in CyberGhost Five? Uh, with CyberGhost 5 for OpenVPN, we're using certificates. We use our public-private uh, infrastructure, public-private key infrastructure with their, our own certificate authority being used uh, together, paired with your username and password authentication. So it's a, a two-layer of authentication. Okay. If this answers the question. <laughs> 
Okay, and somebody else uh, asks us if we can uh, broadcast our changed IP network using Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, to the pro uh, I read the question, but I don't understand for what purpose. Um, the IP address you get uh, is shared by, for example, depending on the server, 50, 40, 80 people. So all these people share the same IP address and are visible in the internet with that IP address, which means this is a layer of anonymity. Because if somebody tries to find out, okay, this IP address belongs to which user, he can't say because it belongs to 50 people at the same time. So if the question is about how you can publish this IP address in order to run a server on your local network, that's currently not possible because um, we, we that would need some kind of what is what you know from your router, router called port forwarding. But that would result that a, a, a port is assigned to a single user. And then we think that this is totally against uh, the purpose of the application being anonymized. So, um, you, of course, it's able to publish this IP address, but it's useless for you because uh, CyberGhost acts like an additional um, NHT firewall. Um, TCL 1.2, is it supported in our application, TCL 1.2? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, you should see it in, uh, I think you should see it already uh, in the debug log. It, it might not be supported by all, by all servers. It depends on the uh, underlying operating system, but we are counting the process, and you might recognize that already in the board that there are some downtimes for some servers because we are upgrading the operating system uh, from Debian 6 to Debian 7 uh, on the underlying VPN servers, and therefore it might depend where TLS 1.2 is supported. Okay, guys, so if that's about it, no more questions from our users. Um, we will right now provide you with the links for the free licenses. You will find them on the YouTube channel and also on the Google Hangouts uh, event page. And hurry and get one free package. Thank you I so much. I would like to say final word. Uh, I would like to advertise our board again. We have a strong and growing community in our board where you can discuss a lot more about Sabagos, give us uh, your suggestions, or even help other users running uh, Sabagos 5. And the URL is pretty simple, board.sabagosvpn.com. And I want to add one very important thing uh, for you people out there. Um, look, Cyberghost is, is free. <laughs> so it's free to use for everybody. and. Um, we don't uh, co-finance or finance us or the service with advertising because advertising and, and VPN and anonymity would be something that wouldn't fit together. So um, we love what we do. Um, we want uh, the world be able to access a VPN for, for free without any costs. Um, but please, people, love us somehow back. Um, either go premium, and if you can't afford, spread the word. Tell tell the people that you use CyberGhost. Um, tell it to your friends. As as more we grow, as better it is for the for the community, for the CyberGhost community. It improves our security level. It improves the 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 the, the, the costs. We we can we can buy traffic cheaper, and um, it is harder and harder and harder for somebody to block us and our IPs because as more as we are, as more traffic we represent, as more people we are, as, as more important it gets to, to give us access to, to a lot of services out there. And that's what it is about. So please spread the word or click on this little buy button. Uh, just, to, just to the final thing, and care for me, but that's really the final one more thing. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but uh, I would like to give you some information about Cyberghost. In the last month, we protected more than two petabyte of traffic. So just think about how much of data this is and how much cost this produces for us. OK. Uh, I, th I think also people would like to know that uh, right now in our free service, we have a, <laughs> we have so a many <laughs> zeros. It's one with a lot of zeros. <laughs> 
uh, we have a new options for the free uh, users. They can select their own servers. So we are really trying to offer uh, people out there even the, the best free service we can possibly offer for a VPN product. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.